Welcome back everyone, you're tuning into the Physio Bros. Today we're going to be looking at the best ways to get your lower back moving. This video is great for you if you struggle with a tight, stiff or sore lower back, especially if you're working from home or have a sedentary desk job. So let's get moving. A lot of people present to the clinic with gradually worsening back stiffness and tightness that if we were able to intervene a little bit earlier, we might have stopped it going from when it was just a dull ache and a little bit irritating to turning into that painful phase. A lot of these exercises are designed to restore that normal movement to your back and reduce the likelihood of you getting into that painful phase where you're then requiring further intervention. A similar point to what we were discussing last week, a lot of people present to the clinic during a high stressful period. Whether it's family, financial or work related, a lot of the time people spend a lot more time in a seated position, so no doubt it impacts your back stiffness and tightness and potentially your pain. As always, if this is a new acute episode of lower back pain, or if you find that some of these exercises actually worsen your symptoms, make sure you contact your physio or your local health professional so that they can create a program that's individualized to you. So if you have a tight or sore back, make sure you stand up and give these exercises a go. We want you to realize that our backs are designed to move and there are strong structures. They're one of the strongest structures in the body. They're full of dense muscles, ligaments and support structures and so we want you to use them to their full pain-free potential. Our first exercise is the lower back extension. Now this is great for getting your back moving in a direction that it's not naturally going to do throughout the day, especially if you're sitting or slumping for long periods of time at your desk as you work. So you can do this in either lying or standing, and we're gonna show you both, but we prefer lying to start off with because you can actually get your back through a further range of motion. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lie down on the floor or in a plinth or bed on your stomach, have your hands propped in front of you, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna push down into the floor and arch your back looking up. And then you're gonna come slowly down back to the starting position. So you're gonna push up, you're extending through your back, you're straightening your elbows, and then back down. If this is too difficult, you can start off with just by just propping yourself up on your elbows, and you can either work through to that position, or you can just prop yourself up here and breathe here. If you're looking to progress it further though, what you can do is you can push up, you can do a hold, big breath in, and out and then come back down. For this exercise you can look to do two to three sets of ten at a time. So obviously guys if you can't find a place to lie down and perform the exercise before then we can also adapt it and do it at the wall. So what you want to do is find yourself a wall that you can lean against placing your elbows at about roughly your shoulder height resting on your forearms and I'm standing one to two feet away from the wall and what you're going to do is you're going to lean your hips into the wall and out. You're going to aim to perform three lots of ten repetitions. A way to progress this exercise is to step further away from the wall and you can also add in a hold as you're there. The last bit of overpressure you can do is take a nice breath in and out. And that's going to target movement at your lumbar spine. Now the next exercise is to get you moving through your lumbar flexion range. Naturally, people spend a lot more time bending forward and working through their flexion, but rarely is it ever through your full range of movement. So this is called a slumped sit to stand. What you're gonna do is you're gonna perch yourself on the edge of the bed, and as you come forward, you're gonna lean forward and slide your hands down towards your shins and then to your feet. When you get to the point where you feel that natural resistance, I want you to take a breath in and out, and creep your hands forward, and then standing up, you're going to slide your hands up through your shins, towards your knees, towards your hips, and slowly straighten through your back. And then we're going to repeat this. You're aiming for about five repetitions of these, and you can perform about two sets. Coming up. There you have it. So our next exercise, you're gonna to need to be in the all fours position because we're doing our cat-cow exercise. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start by arching your back and looking up, chest up, and then that's gonna transition into rounding your back and tucking your head underneath. This is really good for getting your pelvis used to moving in different directions because this is gonna target the smaller stabilizing muscles of your lower back. 
in each position you can add a breath in and out and a hold it's also a great way to move from an extended position of your back to a flex position of your back so that was a really good exercise to get you started if you've got an acute flare up of your back pain or if you're a little bit more sore than usual it's a little bit more of a gentle way for you to move through your range and get your back moving again so guys, the next exercise is called a lateral shift and all you need is a wall to do it. I typically recommend that if you're getting pain on your right side or stiffness on that right side, the best place to start is to do it with the wall on your right, with your elbow tucked in by your side and standing about one, one step length away from the wall. You're going to move your hips into the wall, hold for one to two seconds and come out. You want to aim to perform eight to ten repetitions and perform about two to three sets. As it feels more comfortable, you can aim to step away further from the wall, so you're moving further through range. You can add a little bit more of an overpressure by pressing through your hip and helping you achieve further range. Now as time goes on and your back is starting to loosen up, you can start doing it with your arm up by your side and really starting to push through that range. That's when you're going to be moving a lot more freely and feeling a lot less stiff. And it's really going to help you optimise your pain-free full range of lumbar movement. So guys, at the end of the day, it's just important to highlight that we need to move. Our bodies are designed to be moving, not to be stationary. So try these exercises, give them a shot, and just watch your back free up with movement. Thanks heaps for tuning in. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.